drugs everywhere and poverty and just... Vodka is the Polish product. Ah! Privy. Privy. Ah. It's a big nightclub. Closed and that they don't express a lot of emotion. Negative things about Ukraine. There exist lots of myths and stereotypes about Ukraine and Ukrainians. Is it true that it's dangerous in Ukraine? Are all Ukrainians drinking alcohol all the time? Are Ukrainians really unfriendly and unpleasant to talk to? Let's check whether that's true. We're gonna talk to seven foreigners from different countries who are currently visiting Ukraine and they will tell us what were they are thinking about Ukraine before coming to Ukraine and how has it changed after they spent several weeks or several months in Ukraine. Let's also check whether those stereotypes that I mentioned are actually true or not. Enjoy watching the video and comment below whether you have more stereotypes about Ukraine and whether you want to know what foreigners think about the existence of those other stereotypes. What did you know about Ukraine and Ukrainians before you came here? You know, I don't really know if I had any expectations. I hadn't done a lot of research on it before I came here. Um, it wasn't really in my plan to come here. It was just kind of by surprise I decided to, to come. I knew everything. I can start the history of Ukraine since the Kiev and Libyan and the okay. Yaroslav Mudry in 988 when they baptized the Rus in the Dnipro River, then continue with all Getmans and uh, all the struggles and uh, Zaporozhye siege and everything. If and you want to... Uh, where did you learn all this information? Internet. I am curious about everything what's happening in the world. I know everything. You can ask me everything. <laughs> what I learned about Ukraine is that uh, Ukraine has been experiencing poverty for uh, many years. But before uh, I made my move uh, to come here friends let's say would warn me that uh, it is a war zone let's say even existing in a place like this it would be a huge level of danger like uh, from police brutality alone but i don't see such a thing news aren't saying anything about ukraine temporarily in my country but what i saw on the internet is that the hot uh, areas of ukraine are in the east to make you understand people were making me expect to just walk and be beaten up by police because i don't speak russian or something that's the type of myth that's going on outside the country oh, and uh, one of my friends he was very scared he said oh this is like, you know, this is where the Chernobyl stuff happened and, you know, I don't know, I think we just watched that uh, film Eastern Promises, just the film one. Um, and, and because we didn't know anybody okay. who had been to Ukraine before, so we were the first ones and that was 10 years ago. What the internet gives about Ukraine isn't good. Negative things about Ukraine, they're facing war with Russia, that you can't survive in Ukraine, Ukraine is a very bad place. So they're always causing bad and negative things for foreigners to come, like making people scared, foreigners scared to come into the country. Well, I was a bit afraid, but um, I would say I trusted God. It's a new land, you don't have friends, your parents aren't here, your siblings aren't here, so you just are all alone and making your decisions on your own, studying on your own, no friends to study with. I knew there were Soviets, Russian but not Russians. I'm, I'm sorry, the first thing that came up to my mind, and that's my bad, I have to read more. That's it, and Andrea Chichenko because I like football, and that's it. And we had like four or five movies, Egyptian movies, was uh, was filmed here in Kiev. Very beautiful movie. The Hostage. It's in Arabic, but uh, I translate it. I recommend you to see. The movie is talking about uh, an apartment that have like 20 or 25 Egyptians live in it. Only two of them have residence. And they just get to problems. What are the biggest myth about Ukraine that disappear after one actually visits Ukraine. I don't know a lot about Ukrainian stereotypes. Some people think that Ukrainians <laughs> drink too much. I haven't necessarily seen it, but go to like Austin, Texas in America and you'll see the same thing, but maybe worse. So I lived in Texas for a little bit. I'm not from there. But I have heard that there are some really good clubs here. Um, so I'll report back after the weekend and 
let you know. <laughs> I don't know any stereotypes either. About, I don't nothing to say about stereotypes. I have my opinion about everything. It can be like that we drink vodka a lot, something like this, you know. That's for Russians, isn't it? Yeah, or drink uh, way less vodka than, uh, than for Russian. example, Russians or Polish. You drink yeah. the same vodka than drink, for example, Germans. Yeah, Polish uh, made the Zubrovka. Pol vodka? It's a Polish yeah. product. Yeah, Zubrovka. But in Ukraine? No, no, vodka uh. itself. It's a yeah, Polish. No, I'm talking about a Polish vodka. Different no, no, no. All vodkas are Polish. Ah. Pol vodka is the Polish product. Ah. You didn't know that. People think very wrongly that it's Russian. It's yeah. Polish. Okay. Just old Soviet landscapes in England um, people think of uh, Ukraine just as they used to think of Poland like 20 years ago oh, they all just you know come here take all our jobs drugs everywhere and poverty and just it's the same stereotypes as Europeans used to have about you know other countries that integrated to your EU quite recently those are the bad stereotypes uh, the good stereotypes are once you come here it's as beautiful as Berlin or Amsterdam it's really good value for money. I know one or two guys who came here for the UEFA Euro Cup a few years ago and they said you know it's it's great value for money and you can have a lot of fun here. Because he is a big truck driver in Japan so he thinks that the some taxi drivers are dangerous. Oh. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Uh, uh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. dangerous when, when they drive. Are they dangerous? Ah. No, he thinks no, it's dangerous, uh, they are dangerous. Taxi driver is dangerous to not think about it. It's like the city is beautiful, it's like the city is beautiful. It's like the city is beautiful, it's like the city is beautiful. He thinks that the here, Kiev, is uh, much cityer than he expected. Like uh, so many luxurious buildings and uh, uh, department stores yeah. and then uh, the buildings uh, look like Europe. I think that here is very city. Every time I get to Cairo and I'm just sitting with my friends or something like that, the first thing, and I'm sorry to say that, the first thing that came up on their mind, like, it's a big nightclub, the biggest nightclub. It was a nightclub and they made a country on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. The Ukrainian girls, like, uh, take care of them. Well, fuck you, take care of them. You, they should take care of us because they're good Ukrainian women. Girl? Believe me, take care of Arabian guys or Arab guys. M just make sure he loves you. I know what how, how they think and how they talk to each other about you, for example. I'm not being mad about it or I'm not being evil, you know. We're not crazy I'm people. Really, We're loyal and all of this things. But uh, in Ukraine, it's very rare when you came up to a, a real Arab guy, you know. He knows what, what being Arab looks like, what being lo loyal looks like. Get, getting back to the misconceptions and the stereotypes that I hear about Ukrainians, like uh, they, they, they're just sipping alcohol all the day. That's not true. What do you think about Ukrainians? How are they different from citizens of your country? So far, it They've been very open and welcoming. Um, when I when I talk to people about Ukrainian people, they say that they're very like closed and that they don't express a lot of emotion. I actually haven't seen that or or found that to be true from my experience. I think they've been pretty open and pretty nice people all around. Oh, I didn't even know you were Ukrainian. <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> You're probably not as pompous as us Americans. <laughs> is, it, is it a good thing? Oh yeah, it's definitely a good thing. Yeah, you're much much more humble. Yeah, I love America and I love Americans, but uh, we're we're a little full of ourselves. So <laughs> yeah, easy going. Yeah, and that's pretty much Greek, you can say. The easy going is a Greek uh, characteristic that gives me comfort. Yeah, it gives me comfort being here. It partly feels like home. How are Ukrainians different? They are not different. We are all equal. The gods created people the same, equal. You know, there, there are different generations of people mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. There are the older generation. They look uh, a little bit cynical of mm -hmm. foreigners, um, but some of them normal, quite lovely people. They just, I think they're just normal people, you know? And the younger generation are very cool. I think they're all got a European mindset. They're very open. Mm -hmm. They don't just talk about, you know, 
bore, stuff like the weather, like in England, people love talking about the weather. People are generally really friendly. I've made some friends here, males and females, places like IT. I've met a guy who's a tennis coach. I'm quite friendly with our security guard in our apartment. He's, he's really cool because I, I can try and speak in a bit of Russian and he really appreciates it. I, I think if you speak Russian, people really appreciate it because, you know, you made the uh, effort. And if you speak Ukrainian, they appreciate it even more. more. Of course, <laughs> of course. All right, okay. I need to take Ukrainian lessons, one day, maybe one day. Yeah. So I lived in UK for 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, in the UK, you get the very polite, very formal people. Mm -hmm. How are you? How was your weekend? Everything great? Um, the, you have your kind of the polite first layer of interaction which is always the same it's just culture I think um, and then you get the guys who guys and girls who just want to you know have lots of fun and just you know party all the time here it's it's not that different they're just people people want to have a good time but the the work ethic here I think is a lot better people work harder in Ukraine it's kind of like a fight for survival at times sometimes if you go and get a coffee you can be confident that you're gonna get a good cup of coffee in here yeah if you if you go for a meal you know you'll get something good otherwise that place won't be open for long because there's so much competition and it, it takes a lot of time to get a license for open a restaurant <laughs> so they will do their best so I'm renting a co-working uh, office mm -hmm. in uh, Padil. <coughs> Service there is amazing, you know? There is mouthwash in the toilets, there is shoe, they've got shoe polish, free wine, it's just some of the things that you don't hear about, you know, mm -hmm. back in England or in Malta, they just, they, 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 they try to go over and above mm -hmm. expectations. In terms of service people try hard mm -hmm. and people are nice here people are really nice they walk around with a you know a smile in their heart people are very kind yeah they try to understand what we say even even they don't understand english or japanese yeah 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 mm. how are ukrainians different from japanese people they are tall <laughs> and uh, women are beautiful like you. <laughs> yeah. And those young people uh, speak English. I'm surprised. I thought that nobody can speak English here. We have so many good memories. But the people are very different. So some stereotypes like the Germans are so strict yeah. and they have their neighbors, their attritions, they are good people. Russians, they are so strict. And who's the good people for Russians? The better version. I think Ukraine. And the big one, just taking the culture from, from, from them. For example, like, I lived five years in France. They live without a purpose. I think Ukrainians, they live for their entertainment. They live for their leisure. They live for being happy. The street that we are on, the Khrushchev or Khrushchev, is, is so festive, you know? Like Khrushchev, it's a, like a, a main street here, yeah. a main boulevard here. Ukrainian pe people have, I'm Arab, and I want to say that because that's a good point, and that's how Europeans have to deal with us, because being Arab, it's not the best thing. We have a lot of stereotypes and uh, prejudices, and, and that's it. But Ukrainian, for example, when they see an Arab, they just want to know more about them. Some Ukrainian, the taxi driver, just said it to me. I know inside I'm an Arab, and every Ukrainian is an Arab, but we don't know yet. He was too deep, and I thought he was just joking or me being Arab, so he wants to make a joke to loosen things up. No, they appreciate being a woman. And that's one of the things that I like about Ukraine, the, the, the Women's Day. I visit a lot of countries and I never thought, I never saw a country that appreciate that day like this. You see all the guys just flowers. taking flowers. I never saw this in France, for example. They think the culture, then the uh, women's right. No, it's not about shots and not about the United Nations. It's about the smallest things that you could do. A flower. Ukrainians are super women. Can you say something in Ukrainian?
I'm so sorry, I can't. I don't know anything. And usually I usually I try to be a good citizen and like learn at least a few phrases before I go to any country, but it was such a whim that I came here that I just did I didn't do it. Teach me I hope Donald Trump is not reelected. Ja, spodivajus Danuda Trumpa ne Hera Rebelt. Hera Rebelt. Well booked. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> we tried. I never learned the Ukrainian phrase. You might as well teach me now. Like Excuse me, where can I get the bus? Proshu. Te autobus. Te autobus. Proshu. Te autobus. На справді я дуже гарно розмовляю українською мовою і можемо розмовляти українською мовою. Для мене українська мова це чи російська мова, чи англійська мова іноземна мова. І маємо кілька хвилин та до таксі. Дуже гарно, дуже дякую. Це something my boot near what was it? Uh, my boot near is future. Yeah, yeah. Silly my boot near. It was something like the future is bright. My boot near yes krava. Привіт, привіт, привіт. Where can I buy some cheap wine? Де я можу купити дешеве вино? Де я можу купити дешеве вино? Perfect. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと